All right, so let's talk about maintaining a curly beard like I have. A lot of advice you'll typically get for um, your beard is just to let it grow and then it'll just lay down the way you want it, right? So once it gets to a certain length, it'll just start laying down. That does not apply uh, to my beard and beards like mine that are like super curly because as the hairs grow, they just proof out. They just make this big ball, right? So when I grew my yeard, I just let it grow and see what happened. And it wound up being a mess. I had this big, ugly bush on my face, basically, okay? Um, and then it took me a while to figure out how to deal with it. Um, some people recommend using these trimmers here and then you just go straight down like this and it, uh, you know, it just gets the guys that are sticking out where you don't want it and just trims it down. Um, and I didn't have too much luck with that. Uh, I'd wind up not positioning it right or my hair would sit differently and I'd cut too much um in certain areas and it just uh yeah if i had to do if i'd use this and i was taking off quite a bit um i would never get it right i'd always i'd always f it up somehow you know what i'm saying um and you definitely do not want to go up like this okay that'll really mess it up but uh what i wound up doing was i just used these uh scissors here um and then I'll go and I'll just go like that and I'll cut just single hairs at a time. I'll just see how, it, how that hair is laying and um, I'll just shape it down on the sides and on this front um, using these guys. And I actually do that almost daily on a daily basis because every day when I get up and I I wet my beard, that's what I gotta do in the morning. It's just like having a you know, bad hair day, right? So I've got to wet my beard in the morning and then I comb it out with this guy here and then comb it so it's um, you know, laying down and then I'll even go like this and get it to set down and then I take these guys and I look for any guys that are sticking out, right? Hairs that are sticking out where they don't want them, or I don't want them. And then I'll uh, trim them away and shape the beard uh, the way that I want it. And if I keep up on it, um, I can keep the beard uh, in control and get it shaped the way that I want and uh, keep it looking good. But if I don't keep up on it and I let it go for a while and it proofs out a little bit, then going back in and getting the shape that I need, um, basically you want to ease up on it, okay? Just work your way down a little at a time. Um, to bring it back in because if I go and I try and take off too much at a time and I cut too much um, I can F up the shape of the beard for sure now what I gotta do here on this front here is uh, these will grow uh, pretty long and it starts starts like bushing out right here which messes up the shape. So what I do here is on my upper chin area here, I'll go like that to get the hairs to stick out. And then I'll trim away, keep these short up here. I wanna keep those relatively short. And then I also wanna keep these sides here short um, and then the longer hairs are from 
this area down because our and from the chin from the chin underneath the chin down and that's what gives me my length so up here this area I want to keep the hairs relatively short and then the longer hairs are down here and then I just blend it all in and uh, make sure that it kind of stays relatively I want to keep it relatively straight from the cheeks coming on down okay now I do wind up using this but I only use it um, from here up basically to cut my sideburns um, so I only use the clippers on my sideburns and then everything else I use these scissors so and then underneath here when the beard is shorter um, I make sure that I get this neckline uh, trimmed and maintained but as it gets a little bit longer um, I don't have to keep up on it as much oh uh, and then when the beard was uh, like really long when I was growing my yard and I had a hard time combing it uh, this wasn't quite doing the job I actually used a pick and it actually got so bad that this pick even wasn't doing the job and I actually got hairs that would start to um, lock together and if I'd start combing it with this pick uh, sometimes I'd be yanking out hairs and that wasn't so good um, but now that I keep it uh, keep it in keep the sides in um, and it's right now it's at about three inches I did have it down to like uh, six inches at one point in time when I uh, just got done doing my year but uh, yeah I don't even have to use this pick anymore and if I do um, even though my beard's not wet it doesn't get stuck um, so yeah not only does it look nicer keeping it nice and trim but uh, it it's easier to comb so yeah and then for my uh, mustache I have a little mustache comb here and I just go like that and I comb it down and then I I don't like these hairs uh, curling into my uh, upper lip area so I always will make sure that I trim those um, with the scissors and then I'll go like this a lot to uh, see if there's any hairs that you know longer hairs that are curling around that I can trim and yeah that's how I do it so yeah so that's that um, curly beards uh, take a lot of maintenance and upkeep but uh, yeah as long as you don't take any major adjustments at, a, at uh, any given point in time and you use scissors and just cut away every day maintain it um, you can keep it looking good <laughs>